guys, welcome back to the Pride of Villa. Happy New Year to everyone watching the channel. Um, and obviously, it, with New Year coming, it, it is the January transfer window. And the first bit of news, the first video of the year is talking about Finn Azaz. Obviously, he's a player uh, from Villa, 23 years old, an Irish midfielder. Uh, who we've loaned out to Plymouth Argyle, having an outstanding season with them. Obviously, they've just been promoted to the Championship. I believe they're sitting around 15th, so it's not bad for them, to be fair. Um, and obviously, this, this season, he has got around five assists, seven goals. Amazing playmaker. Some of the goals, some of the highlights, you just need to look at, because he is, he is a bloody talent. And it, it sort of annoys me in a way, because... Watching him, I was thinking, Joe, you know what? There could be a space in our squad for him. Like, I'd love to have him on the bench, like coming into the, the season. But initially, I thought, I think we should definitely keep him uh, on his loan to Plymouth because he's having a very good loan spell there. But it does look like he's finalising a deal. Uh, sorry, Aston Villa are finalising a deal with him to go to Middlesbrough for about two point seven million. Um, and it's got me thinking, like, obviously, we have sold quite a few youth players recently. Obviously, Aaron Ramsey, Philogene Badais, Cameron Archer. But all their contracts has been a sort of, like, a clause. For instance, like, Cameron Archer, if Sheffield United were to be relegated, we'd have to buy him back come the end of the season. Um, I think with Philogene Badais' at Hull City, I think we we keep him if they get relegated. Uh, sorry, if they get promoted. So, that. It is good business. I'm just hoping there is something in this contract um, where we can actually get him back. But, you know, as a player, bag, you know, if this is all to be finalised and done in the, few, in the next few days, what, what a signing that would be for the money as well for Middlesbrough. Obviously, a, a team trying to get into the, uh, the Premier League again. and also a team that we'll be facing in the next few days. Obviously, we go against them on the 6th of January in the FA Cup. I will be doing a live stream flag, guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, it, you know, I'm, I just, I, I'm happy for him. I am happy for him. It's just, I do believe there is a player there who can play for Villa. Like, one day. Like, I'd, I'd definitely like him to be on the bench coming into the season. But as I said, I think it would have been right for him to start Plymouth. Um, you know, just do his whole loan spell there. But it does look like Middlesbrough are getting one hell of a player uh, in this January transfer window. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about this one. If there is any Middlesbrough fans, any Plymouth fans, let me know in the comment section what you think about this one. Because let's be honest, he is a hell of a player. And for 23 years old, he has got a very good career in front of him. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Obviously, a bit more transfer news will be coming out in the next few days. Um... We just got to obviously get all the data around it. We, you know, we do like this time of, time of year. Um, and obviously getting the videos out as quick as we can. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Up the villa with Pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video.